I'm here with Dean Kane. You may remember him from Lois and Clark. He was also in an episode of Smallville here on the CW and Who TV. He played Dr. Knox. He's now on a new series on the Hallmark Channel called Final Approach. Final Approach is a, is a miniseries for the Hallmark Channel, and it's about, it's a very involved plot, but it, it ends up with myself, a former uh, FBI agent, who is on an aircraft that gets hijacked by thieves who are using the hijacked aircraft as, as collateral and leverage to get some money, basically. That's what it comes down to. Um, and it's a pretty exciting ride from start to finish. And what are you in right now, an MD-82? Is that what I heard correctly from the Pan Am Institute in Las Vegas? It, it's exactly. I'm at the Pan Am International Flight Academy here in Las Vegas. I'm going to learn how to land this aircraft. Um, it might be an MD-88, um, okay. but the honest truth is I don't know the difference. All <laughs> right. I'm going to do is try to get this thing on the ground. You can't see the runway out there, but I can. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Uh, and and my, my father flies planes. Uh, and he hasn't taught me a whole lot, so I'm going to do my very best here. Now, Dean, I know you're a pretty physical guy. You like to do your own stunts. Uh, you did play football in college, so, I mean, you don't mind getting dirty. Did you get to do any of your own stunts here on the final approach? Oh, yeah. I did every one of my own stunts, uh, including jumping out the belly of an aircraft uh, when, it was, when it was on the ground. That's a different part of the scene, so it doesn't give anything away. But, it's yeah, I did every one of the stunts. I got beat up, I beat some people up, um, there was a lot of gun, a little bit of gun play, a lot of fighting, a lot of jumping up and down, a lot of running, uh, and they were all, that was all just me. Oh, nice. <laughs> uh, but not to give it away, but, uh, I mean, how many planes did you crash during the making of this? <laughs> no real aircraft were harmed during the making of this film. But uh, we, we, we do end up um, in, in an area that has an awful lot of aircrafts that are down, uh, so it was pretty interesting. And uh, I, I don't want to give anything away, but uh, um, there was a lot of uh, there a lot of aircraft that were involved in this. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> we well, also have another movie coming out with Sharon Stone, Christopher Walken, five dollars a day. Correct? What's this yes, flick all about? Christopher Walken's character uh, in the film Five Dollars a Day is a man who has learned to live on five dollars a day. He is a consummate con man, uh, and, and in true Christopher Walken style. Uh, he's a one-of-a-kind character, and my character is one of the people he encounters along this trip that he takes with his son, played by Alessandro Novello, Nivolo, Nivola, Nivola, there it is, uh, and he comes across a lot of different characters along the way and, uh, and cons them, and he does the same to me. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's really a funny, funny film, and Christopher Walken's character is, is like I said, one-of-a-kind. Now, I've got to ask you, you I've got to see an impression of Christopher Walken. You're an actor. <laughs> I know you've got it down to a T. The only impressions I do are the ones that I've already seen, like on Pulp Fiction, where he had a watch. I don't want to, I can't say it. I can't even <laughs> say it here on television. But uh, my, my, uh, my Christopher Walken impressions, it's not, it's not good. If, if I do one here, then I, I probably lose my next job. <laughs> so I can't do it. Uh, you also, I mean, because you played, you were on an episode of Smallville. I know Smallville airs on the CW, um, and you played Dr. Knox, correct? Yes, Dr. Curtis Knox. Uh, that was a lot of fun. You know, Christopher Reeve had gone, had gone on and done uh, a guest stint on Smallville, and I figured if he had done it, uh, there's no reason I shouldn't do it and keep that sort of Superman mythos alive and, and, and have different characters show up on that show. It's a very well done show. Um, Tom Welling's great. Michael Rosenbaum's great. Um, the people are all fantastic there, so I was very happy to get over there and, and do that, play that role, and, and I enjoyed it, but it was awfully strange to be, you know, on set and have some super speed or super something going on and, and not be the character who's doing it. It was quite interesting, but it was a lot yeah, of fun. Yeah, I bet, right? <laughs> Did yeah, you see those tights and uh, bring back, back some memories? <laughs> yeah, it brought back a lot of memories, and, and, <laughs> and the hours they work are quite similar, so it brought back some painful memories of that. Well, Dean, thank you so much. Good luck flying this plane. I hope you get it on the ground safely. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Thanks for having me on. All right, have a good one. Okay, you too.